Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, I'm Dazzling Dave and this is a video that even just a few days ago I couldn't imagine making and that is Matt Doherty, stalwart of the Wolves team, 10 years service just gone, being transferred, fee agreed, to move to rivals Tottenham Hotspur, five reasons that I'm shocked and also why I think it has happened. So there's a lot to get stuck into here, isn't there? I uh, <laughs> rang my dad earlier, did a video call with him, so he's got a little opinion as well. Probably make you chuckle as usual. But as I say, before I get on to what the reason why I think it has happened, these are the five reasons why I'm shocked that it, that it is happening. First off, um, did not see this coming. I don't think any Wolves fan saw this coming. Only just a few days ago I posted on my Instagram and Wolves put out on socials celebrating 10 years of Matt Doherty at Wolves. Uh, Matt talking himself. He even put on his Instagram uh, not so long ago when he got the new kit about looking forward to wearing this in the new season. So obviously it's all come around and um, he's leaving. But like the reason I'm really shocked because Nothing's been mentioned. Obviously, we've had Jimenez and Traore. Uh, all those big things have been speculating about. And then out of the blue, there's an article that comes out about Matt Doherty leaving. I've really just thought, oh, it's just paper talk. But it's gained more and more momentum. Uh, I think John Percy from The Telegraph tweeted it uh, yesterday. And when he tweets something and it's agreed that Wolves have agreed the £15 million pound price figure, just got to agree personal terms and the medical which should fly through, pretty much 99% certain that is going. So that's why I'm shocked, number one. Number two, he's a mainstay of uh, the Wolves team. You know, he's been right with us through the, the double dip relegation all the way back up into the Premier League. I know he's had um, some criticism at times from Wolves fans, but he's always managed to come through that. Nunes picked him pretty much first... You know, in the first batch on the team sheet, him on the one side, Johnny Otto on the other side. It, it, you just thought, well, he's going to be there next year and we're just going to bring in another person to strengthen the wing-back positions. The other thing that shocked me and surprised me really is the price. £15 million for a 28-year-old attacking uh, defensive player. Uh, it's created something like, scored 15 goals, I think, in the last two seasons, loads of, loads of assists. Um, he had that fantastic, intricate link play with a Traore, a good understanding. You know, many, many times he's popped up out of nowhere to nod in a goal. That, for example, that goal against uh, Newcastle away in the last minute. Where did he come from? That beautiful, daisy little run and finish against City. He can score. He loves going forward. Um, 15 million with the experience and the know-how of the system that Wolves played. How do you replace that? Number four, it's the squad. Johnny Otto um, is out in up until, well, next year really. So Wolves are going to go into the new season now with both the established mainstay uh, wing-backs out of the picture. And uh, the squad, we've let Morgan Gibbs-White go, OK, that's good for him, I would agree. He's going to hopefully be a better player. We've already got a tiny squad that needs strengthening. So... I'm just really, really surprised we've left over to go. I thought we'd be ringing, as I say, wing-backs to back him up and to compete for that position. And um, the another one, number five, we're selling to, well, we're now in the same ballpark competing for these top six positions, maybe top four positions, with uh, Tottenham Hotspur, one of the great clubs of the Premier League. Um, fantastic stadium, went to the away game against there as well. But we're punching with those now. And um, we've sold him to a rival. Obviously, Mati Mourinho has made him one of his primary targets. So those are my five uh, things why I'm really, really surprised that it's happened. Uh, leave me thoughts on that. I'm just going to switch over to my dad now so we can have a little few words. And then I'll come back and I'll explain to you why I think it has happened. So, Dad, um, Doherty leaving Walls for fifteen million after ten years. What is your thought on that, Dad? How are you feeling about it? I'm disappointed, really, because he's one of the key players. Hey, eh? all right, good, you know. If he won't, if he won't bet it, I would pick Doherty. Well, you did it, did you? You picked, uh, you picked um, 
Cody and Bolly, didn't you? Oh, big Cody. You never picked you never picked Doherty, but he's been there for ten years. I do I'm drink, I've been drinking about it since, like, you know. Are you worried about the fact that um, Johnny Otto's out injured for nine months and Doherty's left and we've got no one in yet? Well, as I said before, he's up to Neno or Nuno. Yeah, Nuno, not Neno. So it's all money, money, money. As I said, it's all money, Dave. He's big money to talk today. And that's what he did, yeah, you know. All right, Dad. So you. Let's have bloody Chavez and bloody. What's the name, Del You mean Traore and Jimenez? Yeah, I, I could see somebody coming in for him. Well, you it's rumoured, isn't it? Dad, but I'm making it to you. You're feeling it disappointed. Yeah, I am. I'm disappointed. Yeah, really. Yeah, I'm really disappointed. Yeah, I'm 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 disappointed. Yeah, i am you got to think what he's going to do, eh? And that's it. All right, Magic Dad. Go see Dave, Magic Son. Oh, Love God. ya. Love ya. <laughs> so thanks, Dad, uh, for, uh, for, for your thoughts on that as well. You can see how he feels. Obviously, if you're a Wolves fan or a Tottenham fan, uh, leave your comments below. Tottenham, you, you're getting a, a, a really good player in Doherty. Obviously, we play a little bit of a different system. Uh, and Mourinho obviously has really targeted Matt Doherty as uh, one of his main people that he wants to get in and he looks as if he's, uh, he's got his way with that. Um, the reason why I think it has happened on reflection, um, I think Doherty not so long ago moved, didn't he, agent to Mendes. We know that Mendes is very close to Nuno and has helped Wolves quite a lot with getting people in. You, you look at Joe Moutinho that he got in for five million, Neves in the championship. Um, and sometimes maybe on the roundabout, you know, he will move a player on. He's obviously brought Doherty in. Maybe this was always a potential thing that could happen. Um, and obviously it looks like it's moving the earliest, as I say, the disappointment is the price, but we got Matinho for five million. We got Neves, look at the values that they've increased. Uh, Matt Doherty going for 15 million. Personally, I think it should be higher. Don't forget as well, 10% of the fee is gonna be going to the Bohemians um, as well. That was a sell-on clause that Wolves had in their contract when they bought him 10 years ago. But you have to bear in mind, we bought him for 75,000 pounds and we're selling him on for 15 million pounds which is a, a massive profit even taking into account the, uh, the, the, the well the 1.5 million that Bohemians are getting that's going to set them up nicely I bet they're really chuffed with that the other thing is do you think that maybe Matt Doherty at 28 he's been at Wolves for so so long he himself maybe wants a change the interesting thing is and I don't know whether this is true he's going to obviously play for Tottenham but apparently he's a really mad Arsenal fan. For me, if I was a professional footballer and I had the chance to go and play for Albion, as much as uh, you know, and say it's just the one team I, I just couldn't play for. So, but that's just me. Um, I guess he's going to be he's got this side of his career. He's going to be playing with what he's established to be one of the the greatest managers of the world. Even though Mourinho, his, his star has dipped a lot in the last couple of years. Um, he's 28, he's obviously going to make a bit of money out of the move he's, and he's got a new challenge and maybe that's what he wanted after 10 years at Wolves. He, he himself wanted to move. Obviously this deal has had to be sanctioned by Jeff Shee and also Nuno. I, I can't imagine them letting go if Nuno didn't want him to go. Um, and we, Nuno touched at the end, didn't he, the, uh, the Sevilla game, talking about squad and refreshing the squad up. It's just at the moment, as a Wolves fan, you see all these players going out and we've not seen any players coming in. And the one thing I think that we've got to take a step back and think about at this point in time is that, yeah, we're disappointed. I wouldn't say I'm angry, I'd say I'm disappointed, that old one. Uh, you have to see who Wolves bring in as well. Um, I, was, I think I made a video similar to this a couple of years ago. Uh, when Douglas left uh, Wolves after the championship promotion season and everyone was shocked that Douglas had gone. Then we brought in Johnny Otto and we, and we now just think, well, that was the right decision. You have to trust in Fosun, Jeff Shee and Nuno that they've got a plan and a strategy to this. Nathan Knowles, as you can be mentioned, has been linked with Wolves. Young, English. Um, 
attacking full back wing back uh, that can fit that role but even if we brought him in I still think we need another one uh, yes um, we've got um, Ruben Venegra Oscar Burr Luke Matheson potentially and also um, the Sanderson guy that went out I think it's Sanderson that went out to uh, Cardiff that can potentially we've got young people coming through that but we need experience that can play and we need strong back the squad needs strengthening if there is an injury like what's happened to Johnny Otto you've got to have a strong uh, person to come in and I think that's the worry if they sort that out and over the transfer window we bring in the players then that will be We'll look back on it and go, OK, fair enough. But if they don't, then there's going to be questions asked. At this point in time, you have to step back and go, fair enough, good luck to Matt Doherty. You've given loyal service for 10 years. If, if he comes back to Wolves and um, when we have crowds, he will be given uh, a really good reception and he will always be highly thought of. Over 300 games for Wolves. Um, but I am shocked, but I can kind of get my head around it and understand it if we've got the backups ready to go and that's the acid test I think that we have to sit back and wait you know we've literally just over two weeks two weeks until we have our first game on September the 14th away at Sheffield United the players a lot of them are still away on holidays they're coming back uh, we've got internationals it's it's not the best preparation as we're in at the moment for the start of the season and if we stand still will go backwards so let's just hope that over the next week we can start to see some incomings to strengthen the squad i'm sure that's going to happen and um then obviously we can reflect on it then but yeah Matt Doherty, yeah, 15 million going to Spurs, 28 million. How are you feeling as a Wolves fan? If you're watching this as a Tottenham fan, how are you feeling? Uh, and we'll watch it pan out. Until the next one, I'm Dazzling Dave, always Wolves. <laughs>